what's up, family? I'm Coach Cass, America's go-to love doctor and the creator of the Real Love Network and number one bestseller of Wanted Woman, The Busy Woman's Guide to Attracting and Choosing a Love That Lasts. So today, we're specifically talking about the do's and don'ts of first date impressions for successful single women. Are y'all ready? Put a yes, yes. Oh my goodness. And if you don't know, I have a podcast called The Coach Cast Show. So if you're listening to it, make sure that you subscribe, leave five stars, and I can't wait to hear more of how we have impacted your life, right? So today, I, I specifically thought of this topic because I know for a fact how hard it can be to do first dates. Have you ever struggled with a first date before? Have you ever been like, I don't know, I don't this is going to work, Coach Cass. Have you ever thought to yourself like, oh my goodness, will love work for me? Will this person be the one? Have you ever had these experiences? Or maybe you've said to yourself, how do I get from date number one to date number two? So now the importance of first impressions, they matter in dating and in relationships. I have seen Men and women get ghosted on a date because the person they were supposed to meet just wasn't attracted and decided to leave. Ouch, right? Like people do that. Now, there are some things that you can mitigate and there are some things you cannot. If they don't like your face, they don't like your face. Now, the thing is, one, in your first date impression, I invite you not to ghost anyone right? We put good seeds into this dating pool because we already heard about what's already in there, right? So I want you to think about, okay, if I'm not attracted to this person, I still want to get to know another human. And this helps me to learn about myself. But when you show up to a first date, even if you are plain Jane to the fullest, do a little zhuzh, sis. My pastor would always say, put a little lip gloss, put in your earrings, put on a little makeup. That's that, you know, you got to come presentable. I remember one time, I was doing summer school at Hunter College in New York, in the city, and I came home from, from summer, summer school, summer class, whatever, extra classes I was doing in the summer in college, and uh, my mother said, that's how you went to school, right? I had on matching gray sweats and a bandana. Sis was not having it. She said, do not leave my house like that ever again. Now, mind you, that is still my happy place. I still love to put on some sweats, but on a first date, within seven seconds, people judge you. They just do. So step in with your best foot forward. I'm not saying to wear shoes you cannot, <laughs> that you cannot walk in. I'm not saying to wear shoes you cannot fit in. I'm saying that, sis, you just need to take the time to say, what makes me look and feel good? Now, I definitely recommend getting a stylist. Now there's free stylists at many of your local department stores like a Macy's, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus. And then there's stylists that you could find on Instagram, on Facebook, just put in stylist in your area. And I'm pretty sure somebody can help you pick out some outfits that complement your body. So I don't care if you're uh, thin, wide, every tall, short, every, missing teeth, anything in between, get your dentures together, sis, get your popping earrings and your lipstick and feel fabulous in your skin. I want you to leave for a date feeling fabulous. So do's for your first date, dress appropriately, choose an outfit that reflects your personality and is suitable for the venue. So if you're going roller skating, do not wear a silk dress. If you're going to dinner, do not wear like some frumpy sweats. Right, so I really want you to look at where are you going? If you're going rock climbing, you would put on sneakers. Now make sure the sneakers are clean and not dirty. Listen, groom your nails. I'm not big on nails, so my nails are just clipped down and shaped. That's what they are, right? Because I, well, that, and I saw those things about the gel polish and cancer, it kind of scared me. So I, I calmed down with my gel, my gel polish, right? So I, I calmed down with all that, but dress appropriately, be punctual. So arrive on time, do's, do arrive on time. Don't be late. Don't be talking about, oh, well, you know, aren't you happy I came this beautiful? No, sis, please respect his time as he respects yours. You both respect each other. Show interest. Show interest in the person that you're sitting across from, the person that you're talking to. Be authentic. Don't make up stuff. I definitely recommend getting the love deck 
right? So the love deck is 60 questions to ask before choosing the one. You can get that at mylovedeck.com, right? So if you struggle with conversation pieces, that's what you could use. Then I want you to be mindful of your body language. If you are turning away, if you're not paying attention, if you're just on your cell phone, that is not helping you. You have decided to spend time with this person, spend time with them and not whoever's in your head, whoever's in your phone, whoever's across the room. All right. So now don'ts for first dates. I know I'm going quick. I got a short time for this episode. So don'ts for first dates, avoid oversharing. So he does not need to know all the things your exes did wrong to you. It's not, it's not necessary on the first date at all. Don't dominate the conversation. So if you find yourself talking for more than two minutes and his eyes are starting to glaze over, here's a clue. Stop talking. Sometimes we could go into monologue mode and that is not helping you to have the relationship that you desire. It is a dialogue. He asks a question, you ask a question. You say something, he says something. You inquire a little bit more about that. Well, what does that look like, Coach Cass? Oh man, I went to the Heat basketball game this weekend. Oh, I love the Heat. So then you say, who won? Show interest in what he did, not, oh, I've been to a heat game before. Let me tell you about that, right? So we want to make sure that you're taking the time not to dominate the conversation, but to listen. Avoid excessive negativity. So what does that mean? I need you to be sunshines and starbursts and rainbows and all the things. If he wanted somebody to tell them all their woes from the day, he would have stayed home and just listened to anybody in his world. More than likely, within three minutes, you want to complain about something. Zip it up. Eat it talk about with your girlfriend after. Instead, I invite you to focus on the positive during this date and for further dates going. Don't be glued to your phone, okay? Don't put the phone down, sis. Put the phone down. It's not important. It's an hour and a half date or an hour date or a half an hour meetup. Put the phone down, okay? So these are very simple do's and don'ts for successful women when it comes to dating for you to keep in mind to be your authentic self Talk about things that interest you, but then also lean in to find out what interests him and then just have some fun, right? Fun. I don't want you forecasting, is this my husband turning into your interview mode about what's his FICO score and does he own his car and his home? You know, like just decide the first date is just to decide if you want a second date. That's it. That's it. You got it? All right, sis. So that's it. That's the wrap up of some of the do's and don'ts of first impressions of your first date. I love you guys so much and make sure that you tune in each and every week to the Coach Cast show. Something else I want to tell you is that I am now taking um, applications to get on the show to really talk about a scenario, right? So do you have a scenario happening in your life right now, a situationship, a relationship that you'd love some love advice for? Hey, ask Coach Cast. So go ahead and email coach at inspiremany.com, coach at inspiremany.com so that we can get you on the show. Yes, I love it. I know. All right. So I'll see you guys next week. Keep loving, keep laughing, keep living. Bye guys.